Hi everyone. Today we are going to use Moku Lab's Bode Analyzer instrument to make a real-time capacitance meter. A Bode Analyzer essentially measures the frequency response of a system, both magnitude and phase, and from this we can calculate a capacitance. We will cover basic math theory of the RC circuit, experimental design and setup with the Moku Lab, and implementing with Python and PyMoku libraries. First, let's quickly review the theory. We will implement this simple RC circuit. The transfer function of which can be expressed as HCS is equal to 1 over 1 plus RCS. For sinusoidal steady states, we can substitute with J omega and rewrite with real and imaginary components, seen here in red and green. Plotting this on a phasor diagram reminds us how at 45 degrees, the real imaginary components will have equal magnitude. So, at 45 degree phase, the capacitance is equal to 1 over r omega. If we can use the Bode analyzer to characterize the frequency response to a sine wave, we can find the 45 degree point and calculate the capacitance with a previously known resistance. Next, we set up the RC circuit and connect to Moku Lab. We place the resistor and capacitor on a breadboard. The V in is supplied from Moku Lab's output 1, and the circuit's response V out measured with Moku Lab's input 1. We run the Bode analyzer to measure the frequency response and seek to find the frequency at 45 degrees phase. Let's use the iPad interface to run the Bode analyzer on an example. Here you can see the cursor set to 45 degrees and reading out the frequency to be 3 kHz. Using this 3 kHz, we can calculate the capacitance to be 333 nanofarads. So, with the theory and experimental setup explained, let's build the circuit and set up the Python script and PyMoku. We have the breadboard, resistor, capacitor, and the probes connected to the Moku. Here is the code. In the first section, we import the needed packages, then connect to Moku Lab over the network and set up the basic Bode analyzer parameters. And then we deploy and run the Bode analyzer. In the last section of code, we execute a while loop to get the complete data from Moku. And finally, we search the results for the frequency close to 45 degrees phase. Initially, we have an open circuit, and thus the Python cannot find a 45 degree phase and reports a large error. Once we connect a 4.7 microfarad capacitor, we promptly obtain a reading from the Python. Next, by placing a 2.2 microfarad capacitor in parallel, we can measure the capacitance right at about 6.8 microfarads. This makes sense and is well within the component and experimental tolerances. Now, we remove the 4.7 microfarad capacitor and again we measure 2 microfarads. Again, this all makes sense and is within tolerances. Congratulations! You've just learned how to make a simple, real-time capacitance meter using Moku Lab's Bode Analyzer and PyMoku in Python. Thanks for watching and see you next time.